All right, so I got stranded up here at the church. Um, this is just a little a little tip if you're using these eBay torque converters. So I just got this new uh, 10 horsepower Tillotson on my drift cart and I was testing it out and it's got quite a bit more power than the Predators I normally use. But, you know, I was going around full speed around a, a slight little turn over here on the pavement and just lost complete control of it. It did a 360 and I was thinking like, God, this, this thing's got so much more power, I don't know how to handle it. And once I got out and tried to crank it back up, the torque converter was locked up. And so what actually happened was the converter locked up and the wheels locked up on top of that, which made sense because the engine cut off right about the time that I started doing the 360. And something I've always left out when I install these torque converters is the little brass bushing that sits right here on this backing plate to let the belt kind of ride freely when you're at idle but I've always just left it out because I remember when I first bought one of these I was testing it and I had noticed that the driver here would always have to slide over the bushing and I always thought that that was something that could just potentially cause an issue well when I got this new torque converter I'd kind of forgotten about that and I installed that bushing well that is actually what caused the converter to lock up and me to do a 360 going about 30 miles an hour. So what it ended up happening once I got it off, and I've already broke it loose since then, but it just got wedged down here in the driver and it wouldn't disengage from the belt. So even when I tried to slow down, it was still engaged and wouldn't let the, the tires spin freely. But, you know, it's up to you whether you use this bushing or not, but I'm going to make sure that I continue to leave this off of all of my torque converter installs just so I don't have any issues in the future and end up, you know, getting hurt next time. And if you're worried about your belt getting worn, you know, I've ran my other torque converter for years now, just like this with no bushing and it doesn't seriously reduce the belt's life um, unless you're gonna let it idle for hours on end. And the driver can slide back and forth with no issues of getting caught on anything. And before anybody else tries to say it was something different, all I've done was remove that bushing and you'll see it works just fine.